everybody's back in the car now. We're, we're cranking the air conditioner, so that's that noise you hear. But I had to show you, Mark had to bring his Kindle so he could tend to his game on time. <laughs> like father, like son, or like son, like father, I guess. So, well, we're cooling down the car before we take off. But Mark said he got a good tour. Teddy did a Teddy tour. And then I had fun with Lucy. I almost fell asleep on that bench. That was just, that nice, huh? especially when the breeze picked up a little bit, that was beautiful. We're exiting out of the state park and it is at capacity. And look at all these folks just waiting for people like us to leave. Of course, Mark said the fort was empty. Most of these people, most of the people that come here come for the beach. They don't really come for the fort, but yeah. So every single one of these people you see lining up, I've got to wait for somebody to be willing to leave. So again, just a another little hint of uh, truth. So if this is something you have, even if you want to see the fort and you have no interest in the beach, you want to get here early, especially on weekends or especially in peak season. Like I was reminding Mark, a lot of our spring breaks are done down here in the south, but a lot of northern schools now are having their April vacation this week. So still, still in our peak season and with it being a weekend and stuff, that is something you want. Get into that parking lot early. Key West, you really can try to find out why the chicken okay, crossed the road. He's in the crosswalk. Oh my gosh, he is. He's in the crosswalk. Comes the one. His girlfriend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Coming up on another chicken that would like to help you understand why did the chicken cross the road. He's almost in the crosswalk too. <gasps> no, here comes another one. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> why are you coming towards us? <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing? Down the road. Oh, well, you know, he's going to right yeah, in front I'm of you. Way the road. I no, can't see You him. can't move. Hold on. I looked to the side and it walked beside us. Oh, there. <laughs> he didn't like us teasing him about yeah, crossing the road. <laughs> I know it. Anyway, I think we're gonna find a place to get a drink, but I think we're actually gonna head out of Key West now. What do you think, boys? Yeah, I'm good with that. We just kind of wanted to get one more glimpse, but it's too crowded. And we are, honey, we're gonna find a beach on the when we get off this island because they're all quiet or going back up one. We we did what we wanted to. We got. A, all the way to the southern point again and we'll work our way back and we'll come again in the future god willing you know i would like to stay here sometime and, and do this like rent a little buggy or something and get out and actually have time so many parks too I mean really is even beyond like the big tourist traps and of course if, if you know us we don't drink alcohol in this family so we don't go to any of the bars or anything 
But I mean, I could spend quite a time with Teddy just going to all kinds of playgrounds and parks I was noticing on Google Maps when I was researching. It really, you know, sometimes you have to know that about these places. Even if touristy isn't your thing, you're not into crowds or long lines, or you don't partake in the tiki huts or alcohol or any of that like we do, there's still in these areas, you just gotta think outside the box sometimes and look on Google Maps and expand it and look around, and look for parks or beaches that might be quieter than other areas. And really, as I looked around, I really can see that there would be a lot we could come back and do even beyond the, the tourist stuff. Mark wanted to stop at Starbucks. So I parked, we parked outside so I could do a mobile order and I'm going in to get it. And there's all kinds of chickens here in the bushes. I can't get enough of these chickens, they're adorable. All right, let's go get my order. Someone's enjoying a pop cup. So I could recommend this Starbucks here on one. They were friendly in there. It was quick service. It was clean in there. Even if you were going inside because you didn't have a puppy, it would be a good place to sit. Nice music. Yeah, I'd recommend that Starbucks. That was nice in there. Teddy is having a cake pop, I think. Did your father give you your cake pop? Oh, <laughs> Daddy forgot to give you your cake pop. No, Lucy, you don't need Teddy's cake pop. Here. Sorry, the lighting is like really bright on them. Teddy's got a birthday cake pop. Is it good, honey? He's still chewing bugles too from earlier. We had you leftover bugles that they were eating while I went in to get our order. Mark's is a Trenta pistachio cream. Sorry, my hand's in the way of the cold foam. Cold foam, a little bit of added cream. He's enjoying bugles too. They worked hard doing their fort tour. So uh, I got the double espresso with oat milk, basically. So it's alpha gal friendly, but it's tasty. I had one the other day when I was out with Teddy. So we've been listening to chickens. Ah, excellent Key West. What is it, like 122 miles to Homestead? 120 something. Florida City. The Florida City, right? 120 something miles. It's good. We got chickens that wander around Florida City and Homestead. Yeah, we do. So that's good. The sun is kind of more to my backside now, so this will prove for some better filming anyway. I'll try to do more just drive along. I apologize. In this car, we really have to crank air. We don't have vents in the back seat for Teddy and Lucy. I'm definitely going to have to pick up a little, like, clip fan to have back there for them to help circulate the air. In our last vehicle, our van, they had nice vents in the back, and this little car just doesn't. The air takes quite a lot of oomph to get back there for them. So I apologize for any air conditioning noise rattling around, but it's better than nothing. breeze down here so the weather and as you can see the overcast even went away so the weather has been absolutely perfection it'd be a little hot if you were out like in a parking lot in the bright sun for long but yeah if you were to be anywhere on the water with those ocean breezes or in the shade this is gorgeous humidity's not too bad down here today absolutely gorgeous Gonna try to look for some cute little spots to get out and let Teddy dip his toes in the water. And Lucy's too. And Lucy's too. I was a smart mama today. I do have extra clothes. I am prepared. It's been hard in this smaller car to get used to doing day trips because I have no space for packing anything really. 
might find a couple of bridges to see some pelicans from on Daddy. Yeah. The hard part is we don't know everything well enough, so sometimes we're right on top of something good before we know it, but we have more time now, so we can slow down and even turn around if we have to. Get you some of those, oops, I gotta unplug, hold on. Boca Chica Channel. Boca Chica. Boca Chica Channel. Saying that because I just like saying Boca Chica. I hope that color of that water is coming out for you guys. It's kind of hard because I can't open the window to stick my phone out because it just would be pure wind. It wouldn't be enjoyable anyway. But Boca Chica Key. places for bikes that are bike friendly. As you can see there's a whole like bike lane there on the side. We're gonna find a little beach honey I promise. Just might take us a few of them before we see one to stop at. or something I'll try to remember to give a little bit of shout out so you know whereabouts we are. And now we're on the Rockland Key. They're much smaller down this end whereas like up in Marathon, Ala Mirada, Key Largo they're huge. You almost don't even feel like you're on key. Down here, they're much smaller and go by quicker. Boom, boom, boom. As you can see, Big Pine 22, Marathon 40, Miami 150 as far as mileage. See how quick they go now. Now you're on East Rockland Key. So what's your favorite key? My favorite key? Oh, well, favorite town. Still Ala Morada, yeah, I think. Mine too, yeah. Ala Morada. Just something about it. Plus the word is fun to say now that we finally figured it out. It took us a good, what, year and a half, almost two years to figure out how to say it. I, I now can't even say it. Island Morada? Isla, we were saying. We were saying Isla. 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 That's because of Jurassic Park. Yeah. Isla, Isla Nuba. Yeah, I agree. Ala Morada. Rockland Channel. I really like Marathon too. Big Pine with all the key deer stuff. And that's pretty cute too. I like Big Pine because it has that um, golf place, mini golf place. Yes. Big dogs. Yeah. What was that? Big cor Cork Pit key? I missed the sign. I was paying attention to what you were saying. Mind-numbing, really, to think that you're 150 miles away from Miami. Miami, I know. And you think you're pretty south when you hit Miami. Pit. It was no R and I think it's B 
big cop in. I misread the sign, I think. Give my hands a break for a while. Saddle bunch keys. <laughs> Some of these are so fun to say. earlier like if there was ever construction or an accident on route one anywhere between key west and florida city you. you could be in a snag for quite some time Bunch number through the closed window. If you see a little dot up in the sky up there, it's some kind of like weather balloon. We watched it when we came down through too. Want to make sure I got the sign this time. Entering Key Deer Habitat, the next 17 miles. Through this section of the Keys, there is a very uh, endangered, protected species of deer found only here in this area. That's why it's called the Key Deer. So it's, I've only seen them a couple of times. They're really tiny, but they're adorable. So yeah, when you do go through this section, please slow down, make sure you're paying full attention, especially at night. Because sometimes they are like any other deer, just right out in the middle of the road. Big sugar loaf now, just kind of cruising along. I was actually going to take a little side excursion out into the Key Deer Refuge, but it's right peak heat of the afternoon, not really a good time of day to be out looking for them. So, someday though, someday I'm going to be coming through here when it's either early or more towards evening and get out and go up into the refuge and take a stroll. There's a few like restaurants and stuff. Kind of another tiny little built up area. Nothing really, really big, but. Although I think I saw a sign that on one of these side roads had a wooden Dixie, I think.
they're both conked out back there. <laughs> we are now on Summer Summerland Key, is that what it was called? Sutherland. Sutherland. Uh, I didn't know if it was Sutherland yeah. or Summerland. Yeah, Summerland, I guess, wouldn't make too much sense, would it? Mile marker 24. As you can see, very common to see a lot of dive shops, a lot of boat shops, um, a lot of places to eat seafood, and then you got your souvenir shops too, tiki bars, a lot of just the same thing over and over again. Fish markets, dive shops, boat shops. soon to the Bay of Honda it area. Is Summerland. It is Summerland. Okay. I did read it right. Summerland. The Bay, uh, is that how you say it? Bay of Honda? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Technically. <laughs> yeah. We're not, we're probably not, we're Bahia. probably Bahia. Yeah. Bahia. We're probably butchering that, but it's like the most popular state park in Florida. Um, also, uh, really definitely the most popular state park here in the Keys. People, you know, try to get that reservation within seconds the minute that they open. And then the bridge up here is really popular too. Again, trying to get some of the shade of the water. We're finding some overcast skies again as we go north. So lighting might not be in my favor, but I'm trying to get it for you guys best I can. So that was Ramrod Key. Now we're crossing the channel into Torch Key. We saw this really nice like beach area off to the side coming down. Now neither one of us can remember where we saw it. Keep thinking, was this it? Was this it? Of course now Teddy's drifted off to sleep, but little torch key. in a key deer habitat again.
lower keys. They all blend to us because we have not been down here as much as like Key Largo and Ala Mirada. So I get a lot confused down here still. A lot looks very similar. Very sweet husband offered to turn around and take a drive the down here. Is. There's the Wind Dixie, we found it. Gonna take a drive down here, more towards the refuge, and just see what we can find. Look around, nice Methodist church, it's beautiful. or do it now. And here it is, the famous, how do you say it? Bahia Honda. Bahia Honda Bridge. Very heavily photographed bridge. 
And then, yeah, the uh, state park is up here on the other end, and it's an extremely, extremely popular state park, difficult to get into, really need reservations well in advance for it. But from what I hear from people who have stayed there, so well worth it. But yeah, some good lighting on that right now. Other times we've come past this, it's either already been nighttime or raining or... So you can look across at some of the campground and beach and stuff for the state park. Yeah, it's quite popular. It's on my bucket list. Someday when we have an RV, I'm gonna somehow get some reservations to this puppy. Look at some of those sights right on the water. Just amazing. Getting ready to approach Seven Mile Bridge again. Trying to show you some more of the colors. Just beautiful. Little Duck in the Missouri Channel. this awesome spot to pull into to let Teddy dip his toes in the water but we didn't really couldn't really tell that there was available parking until it was really too late we were already on seven mile bridge so we had to go across the seven miles to turn around and come back the seven miles but super sweet husband and dad that he is said I'll turn around now let's just hope your Yankees actually get out of this tie huh it's okay if they don't. It's okay if they don't. They're already taking three of the four. So. <laughs> Keep rubbing it in. So, really sweet of Mark to turn around and come back seven miles to uh, try to let Teddy go dip his toes in the water. A little windy to film too much, but he's doing it. He's doing it. We got him changed up. He's dipping his toes. This is like, so this is called Veterans Park, and it's like, if you're coming northbound from Key West, it's right before you go on the Seven Mile Bridge, and it's cool to have, you know, little uh, porta potties. I changed him up in, and he used one. They have these nice little chickies, picnic tables. Mark's listening to the game. Otherwise, I know Mark would be out getting fresh air, but he's listening to the game and watching Lucy. And we could actually, because they even have a thing there to pick up after your dog. So if Mark wasn't listening to the Yankee game, he could be sitting on that picnic table right with Lucy. So what a super spot, super cool spot. Teddy's a little chilly though. He tried getting in the water. He said it was a little bit chilly. Did you find a rock or something? What'd you find? Show me. I gotta throw it. Whee! I didn't bother to change up because I'm not going up past my knees. But I did want to stick my toes in with him just to say we did. So this has been super fun. <laughs> he keeps getting more and more daring. It is a little, it's not, not chilly, but it, the air's chilly is what he knows. But I got towels, I got everything, and I got dry clothes to put him in after. Is this worth it, honey? Yeah. I know it's really windy, so I don't know how much of this footage I'm going to be able to use, but this is just too awesome not to capture. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm glad you're having fun. Yeah. Making lots of observations now, huh? So dogs all out on the beach. So Christina came back to get the dog, Lucy. She's in the water. Teddy's behind her. Ah, oh, that was lovely. I don't know, like my outside footage, how much of it I'm going to be able to keep because it was windy. But hopefully we got a little bit of a taste of that for you. And Mark did try to film a little bit too of us getting Lucy out. I just knew I couldn't have her and have the phone in the pocket of the current shorts I'm wearing. So it was too risky of losing my phone. So, um, 
yeah, that was amazing. That I highly recommend that Veterans Park. But oh, the, the glow of the sun setting behind us too is like proven to make some glorious colors. And yeah, if I could have my window open, it would be even better, but wow. So thank you, honey, for going back. That was, that was well worth it. Teddy had a blast, Lucy had a blast. I hear the Yankees won. They did. So they're undefeated so far? Undefeated, swept the Astros at Houston, so. Wow. Now they're on to Arizona. Wow. Yeah, that was, that was lovely. Oh, it's going on 532, 80 degrees, but we still got plenty of daylight. We're all hungry now. First, I had to get Teddy changed. Uh, you know him all settled in I, I was real smart this time though because he started out in kind of dressy type clothes and then I changed him into his swim clothes and then I had easy to slide on shorts and a t-shirt to put on when I took off his wet stuff and I was gonna take a picture of it and I forgot my little uh, tip for if you have especially children's swimsuits that are super small we always have like a spare popcorn bucket souvenir popcorn bucket Disney Sea World, Dollywood, it doesn't matter the theme park or wherever you got it, but a spare souvenir popcorn bucket is great to just stuff, especially kids, wet swimsuits in so you don't have them just kicking around in the back of your car. So I did have a spare one, put in his wet clothes, got him changed up. I got a spare blanket down for Lucy to sit on. She seemed to love that as well. That made her, we didn't get any of that on camera, but after a while, like when Mark came out to sit on the picnic table with us after the game ended, she was like running crazy, splashing in the water and splashing sand with Teddy. So yeah, we now have total salt life going on because we have beach sand from one end of this car to the other, all over the kid, all over the dog, all over me, but it was so worth it. That was like just another little perfect puzzle piece to our day. But now, first thing Teddy said when we pulled out of the parking lot was, I'm kind of hungry. And Mark said, yeah, I'm hungry. And I'm like, yeah, I'm really hungry too. Our, uh, we had a lot of snacks this morning, but that was quite a long time ago now. Wow. So we will, after we get into Marathon here, be kind of thinking about what we might want for some munchies. I don't think it's as pretty that my phone's capturing as it is to my eye of coming down the hill now and seeing Pigeon Key off to your left and the greens and stuff on the right. Right here on 21 Mile Bridge. 20, I know, 20, we crossed it three times. <laughs> One, two, four, this is our four. Yeah, technically, yeah, 28 Mile Bridge. <laughs> it was so worth it though. I'm so happy, so grateful you took us back. That is one to remember. That is one for the recommendation books. Because, like, we like Ann's Beach up here in Alamorada, but Ann's Beach tends to be a little bit more clayey, whereas that was beautiful sand on our toes. And those little, like, picnic tables right there, whereas Ann's Beach, you gotta walk on the boardwalk out to somewhere. So, and I don't know if you can have dogs at Ann's Beach. So, that was nice. I mean, that just, that was awesome. Be prepared though, porta potties get nasty on a weekend like this and run out of toilet paper. So just be prepared. It is what it is. You just gotta roll with the flow. Huh. <laughs> I totally forget and I was gonna film some more marathon coming through. We got talking about what we were gonna eat. And I was losing track. Here's a subway. Yeah. Oh, subway sounds delicious, Daddy. End of the day on a Sunday though, so we might be playing with Slim Pickens. Lucy's trying to mooch. My hair's a mess, travel hair, don't care. I got Mark this sub called the Outlaw. Outlaw. It's I got like steak and cheese, but the cheese is double the pepper jack. Then it has peppers and onions and Baja Chipotle sauce. And then I added a couple vegetables on his. I got his on the cheesy bread. Mine is vegetarian white bread because I know that's dairy free and just oil vegetables and oil um they did 
I think I might have. Did I? I was getting crazy there towards the end. I found Teddy this new milk. How do you like it, Teddy? He's busy right now. Must be in the heat of a game. They had, I was looking at the chocolate milk, strawberry milk, this and that, and they had strawberry banana. I'm like, oh my gosh, he will like that. So I brought Teddy out some strawberry banana milk. Um, and I have some chips and stuff. And I knew he wouldn't eat much more than that. And we'll probably stop again for another snack for him down the road. Teddy's more of a snack his way throughout the day. He doesn't really eat big, huge meals at once. So that's that will do him for now. But I'm excited. They were super friendly in there. So yeah, good stop.